Hello and welcome back to Obscure Jewels where I'm your host as well as your narrator Crayola Costa. Today we will be reading The Bear's Picnic by Stan and Jan Berestain. Mother Bear, put your apron away. We are going to go on a picnic today. Where are we going on our picnic, Dad? Dad? To the very best place in the world, my lad. Now you remember this spot, my dear. When we were young, we picnicked here. Papa, I do not like to complain, but your wonderful spot is next to a train. Where are we going now, Papa Bear? Is there another wonderful spot somewhere? Don't pester me with questions, please. There's a place I know right in those trees. It is everything a picnic spot should be, and no one remembers it is here but me. What a spot, what a spot. So quiet, so cool just that it was when I was in school. We had a school picnic and I won first place for eating the most pie in a pie eating race. Pop, this spot may be very fine, but look what it says on that big sign. Dad? Big picnic today. Dad, can you find us another spot? Are we having a picnic today or not? Now stop asking questions, be quiet. Stop stewing, your father knows what he is doing. To pick a spot that is just the right one, you have to be very choosy, my son. Nothing can bother our picnic here. Lay out the picnic things, my dear. Do not like to say so, Dad, but another good spot has just gone bad. I hope there's another good spot, you know, but how much further do we have to go? Why don't you use your eyes, small bear? There's a perfect place right over there. The grass is green, the air is sweet. Lay out the lunch and take a seat. Hooray at last, we're going to eat. Well, this place is good, I wasn't wrong, but I know one better, let's move along. Now take this perfect piece of ground, no one but us for miles around. Pop, you picked the best spot yet, but how can we picnic with that chet? I am very hungry, Pop, when is this spot picking going to stop? I am getting tired, my feet hurt too, any old spot here ought to do. Please, Pop, please. Can't we picnic soon? It's long past lunch, it's afternoon. You have to be choosy, Pop, I know. But what's better up here than down below? What's up here? I tell you what, the world's most perfect picnic spot. As you can see, it is perfectly clear that nothing can bother our picnic here. No noisy crowds, no pesky planes, and no mosquitoes, trucks, or trains. Uh-oh, Dad, here comes the rains. Poo! Rain to a bear's nothing at all. We'll picnic here and let it fall. Come back. What kind of bears are you? Scared of a drop of rain or two? Bring back that food. This place will do. It's dry in here. It's warm here too. It does look warm. Yes, I agree. But it looks much, much too warm for me. Wait now. Wait. You wait for me. I'll find a better spot. You will see. I'll find the perfect place to eat. I'll find a spot that can't be beat. The finest spot you've ever seen. Now that is the kind of place I mean. He did it, mother. Did he not? He found the perfect picnic spot. The end. And that was The Bear's Picnic by Stan and Jen Berestain. Thank you again for tuning in. Bye.